my name is Stacy. Welcome to Spare Time at Home. My class today is Compound Strength. Let's get ready to roll. Roll your shoulders back. This is Stacy. We're doing Compound Strength. Press it out. Punch it out. We're just doing a quick warm up. Today you need your medium, your light weights, a mat, full body workout. Roll your shoulders back down and in. Just getting that body nice and warm, getting us ready to properly get into our poses. Now take it overhead. It's stretch. Have that little squat. Don't walk out that opposite knee. Opposite hand to opposite toe, breathing into it, sitting back in those heels, extending those arms. Now let's take it across. Across. Pull the belly in, keep those hips forward, stretching through the inner. Exhale, five, four, three. Let's have some fun out there, spare time eat. Two, we go right into those squats. Here we go, take it down, lift up. Drive those heels into the mat. Relax through those shoulders. I want that nice neutral spine. Booty is going back. Core is pulling in. Relaxing through those shoulders. Exhaling as you exert those muscles. Take it down and hold. Take it down. Little pulses. Again, this is just our warm up. Compound strength. Spare time me. Relax through the shoulders. Breathe into it. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Give me a nice little freeze right here. Check your form if you have that luxury in the mirror. Relax through those neck muscles. Sing down a little bit lower. Your target zone is those hips to those knees. Wiggle those toes off the mat and hold. Freeze. Little pulses up and down. Give me five, four, three. Breathe into it. Get a little bit lower. Two. You can do this. And one. We're going to have our medium to light weights. Modification, no weights at all. We're gonna start with our curtsy lunge today. Heels are gonna go into what's called first position. Shoulders rolled back. Hands are gonna come right into that chest. We're gonna take that right leg, we're gonna press it back into a curtsy lunge. Hips are gonna go square, and that right heel is gonna go nice and high. We're gonna start with the tap out and down. Chest back, shoulder out of those ears. Soft in that left knee. Check your left knee also if you have that luxury at home. Make sure it's tracing right over that large left toe, the center of your foot. Try not to buckle that knee forward or buckle it out. Squeeze down. Start to feel that left glute wake up. Breathe. Give me five, four, three, two. We're gonna add a little extension. So we're gonna take it out and kick. Take that right toe and tap it ever so gently back behind you and then extend that leg. Again, modification. Keep that toe tapping to the ground. For that challenge today, you add that extension of that right leg. Exhale back, breathe. Starting to feel that left glute warm up. Starting to get that heart rate up. That's what we're looking for. Give me four more. Three, two, stay down this next time. Hold it right here. Lift that right heel, square those hips, contract those abdominals, and take it to a nice little pulse. Isometric form right here. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, stay low. You can get a little bit lower. Flare those knees out a little bit deeper and lift that heel. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're gonna do that opposite side. Heels together, first position, shoulders roll back. We're gonna start with that nice little curtsy and tap. Curtsy, tap. Listen to your body. Put a little bit of heart rate up. Take a break whenever you need to back at home and then start right back up. That's the beautiful thing about doing on-demand spare time meet workouts. You can pause it and start right back up with us at any time. <sighs> Master that breathing. Check that right knee. Make sure it's tracing right over that right toe. Form is everything. Now let's add that little extension. Kick. Kick. Starting to feel now that right glute waking up. Breathe. <sighs> Remember, I only have you for 30 minutes today, so I want everything you've got. Focusing on that tap, focusing on extending that left leg. Modification at any time that left leg taps down to the ground. Five, four, three, two, you know where we're going. Take it back, square, drop. Lift that left heel in tiny little pulses. Yes, you can. Stay strong with me today. Breathe into it. Get that heel a little bit higher and sink down a little bit lower for that challenge. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, and one. We're gonna walk our toes out wide. Sumo squat or second, relax our shoulders. Let those weights dangle. Don't be shy, grab heavier weights if you need to. We're gonna squat it down, and we're gonna slowly lift it up. Just get that floor, make sure we pick it up. Down, and lift. Watch your knees, I want them tracing over those large toes right in the middle. Those glutes are going back. That chest is staying open. Heart rate should start to get up. Again, if you have the luxury of having heavier weights at home, go and grab them. Challenge your body. These are your posterior muscles, strong muscle groups. Really wanting to challenge them and get that heart rate up. Relax through the shoulders. Get ready, we're gonna stay down, hold it here, little pulses. Give me 15 this time. Yes, you can, flare those knees back. All 10 toes into the ground for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully come up, roll your shoulders back down and in. You're gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna take one of the weights behind your right knee. Again, if you need to modify, no weights at all. Hands are gonna go underneath your shoulders, soften in the elbow. Knees are hip width apart. Right leg is gonna come up. Right heel's gonna go to the ceiling. Relax in the shoulders. Take your abdominals, lift them up. Chin off your chest, vision down to the ground. We're gonna start with nice little doggy kicks. Take it down and up. Now really focus on your breathing right now. Those heels are coming up to the ceiling. Your abs are pulling in. Every time you exert those muscles, I want you to press that heel and exhale. So you're managing that breathing with the movement of your body. Hips are facing the ground. Belly's pulling up to the ceiling, so your abs are active right now. Now take that right heel, lift it up to the ceiling. Recommit to that square of those hips. Repull the belly up. Soft into those elbows, micro little stomps. So visualize that your right foot is trying to stomp the ceiling. I don't want your leg to go too high where it sneaks into your lumbar. I want you to protect your lower back by using your abs and your breathing. Exhale, give me 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, hold it right here, and walk the elbow or the knee up towards that elbow, and we're gonna bring it all the way back down. This time, we're gonna take that right leg, and we're bringing it out to the side. A lot of times I like to call this position fire hydrant. Again, wrists are right underneath their shoulders, neck is relaxed, you're controlling the leg up, and you're controlling it all the way down. Do not let that gravity take a hold of it. Squeezing now to the outside of our gluteus medius. You'll feel the change work in the outside of the glutes. Give me a couple more. Stay at the top. Visualize that there's a streak on the outside of your leg. And we're doing little micro stomps right here. Pull the belly in, relax the shoulders, match that breathing. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Carefully release. Take that weight and switch it to the left leg. Right away, we're gonna go into those nice and slow controlled donkey kicks. Make sure you have that weight stable behind your knee. Relax the shoulders, pull up through the belly, relax the head, contract those abdominals, flex that foot, little stomps. I know you're feeling this, because I'm feeling it here in the classroom. Those glutes are our largest muscle group in our body. We're working them nice and strong, lots of tiny little movements, isometric holds, developing the muscles, shaping them out. Breathing while we move. Exhale, give me eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, full extension. Take get down and up. Flexing of the foot, pulling of the abdominals. Stay with me, class. I know you can do this at home. You are strong. Press through it. Five more. Four, three, Two, slowly, carefully take that knee up towards that left elbow this time. Recommit to your body, recommit to that perfect pose. Pull the belly up and little lifts. Remember that string now is on the outside of that left knee. So we just changed the work from the gluteus maximus to the gluteus medius. That knee is coming up towards that left elbow. You have a soften in those elbows. If you have wrist sensitivity, you're welcome to always drop down to your forearms too. Absolutely okay if you have that sensitivity. Listen to your body. Do not be shy. Be available to modify. Take that leg down and up. Heart rate should be a little up now, ladies and gentlemen. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four. Push through that class scene. Three, you can do this. Two, and one. 
check it out. Grab your medium to heavy weights. We're gonna come up, we're gonna do some calf raises with weights. Again, if you want, go ahead and release the weights and just do this at free form. If you need stability at home, grab a bar stool, a kitchen counter, anything that you have for a little support with that stability. Toes are gonna go in front, heels are gonna go behind, shoulders roll back. We're gonna start with legs, lift of the heels and down. We call this a releve. It's a very fancy word for lifting your heels as high as you can. So I want you to think about when you lift up, that you're lifting up on the balls of your feet and those big toes. You want to avoid rocking out like I just did on your baby toes. So you ergonomically want to follow the natural lift of those heels, and you're going to come up onto the balls of your feet and those nice big toes. Shoulders back, core tight, and squeezing of those glutes. Feels so good. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're gonna go for that challenge now. Lift it up. You can do this spare time, Eek. Family, hold it here. Lift, no baby toes, big toes and balls of your feet. Let the gastrocnemius, those calf muscles burn. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and melt it down. Shake it out. Grab your heavier set of weights now. If you don't have them in your hands, this is your time to grab them. We're gonna start in a deadlift. I'm gonna do sideways profile for you. Toes in front, heels behind. Shoulders roll back. You're gonna hinge from your hips as if there's a rope beat on your hips and it's pulling you back. Arms stay long. We're gonna start to slide down. Core is engaged, don't let that back arch. And then you're gonna slowly, carefully slide up. So I always like to say, take those weights, have them slide against your body for that proper floor. Now, if you're pretty comfortable with deadlifts, you can either grab heavier weights, or for an extra challenge, you can go a little bit lower to the ankles. So again, safety is right below those knees, and that is absolutely okay. You want that challenge, take it down, bring it up a little bit lower, and then come all the way back up. Now, you want to avoid having your head lifted up. You want your head to follow the natural curvature of your spine. These are called compound movements, these deadlifts. We're losing two large muscle groups. We're working our glutes, we're working our hamstrings. Heart rate should come up with these two movements. Again, lift your toes. Just wiggle them. You don't want a lot of pressure on them. And dig your heels into the mat. If you have the opportunity to have a mirror at home, go ahead and grab that mirror. Relax through those shoulders and stay low this time. Hold it right here, hold it here for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. We're gonna start on the ground. We're gonna go into a tall plank. You can step back or you can pop back just like I did. Swell up through the belly, relax through the shoulder blades. So you don't wanna have heavy shoulders, you wanna have them up. We're gonna hold our belly up right here. We're gonna do a nice little row. Slow and steady. Try not to rock your hips. This is another great compound movement. You're working your core. You're working your upper body. You're rowing into that rib cage. Those elbows are coming up and back. Again, you're trying to avoid that rock. Try to avoid looking down at your toes. Out in front. Breathe. Exhale into these movements. Stay up one side only. Hold for your challenge. Little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Slowly, carefully bring it down and bring your opposite. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully walk it up, shake it out, grab your medium to light weights. We're gonna go ahead and do a bicep curl with a lunge. Hopefully you're still with me today. Walk your feet hip width apart, walk those arms out. Grab your heavier weights if you feel that you wanna be that extra challenge. We're gonna start with a squat lunge. You're gonna split those feet, then you're gonna drop down. So I want your right knee underneath your right hip. Hips are square. Left knee over that left ankle. And then I want you to wiggle your left toes so you're not heavy on that patella tendon. Hold it right here. The lower you go, the more challenging it is. We're gonna start with that bicep curl up and then bring it down. So we want our arms right by our rib cages. And then we want our arms to extend all the way down. These are called eccentric movements. So we're lengthening and strengthening of the muscle. Try to avoid the drop of the gravity. Try to fight it down and fight it up at the same time. Breathe into this. Nice and slow. Lift that right heel a little bit higher. Press the right ball of your foot into the ground. Breathe. How are we feeling?
feeling at home? You feeling challenged? That's where we want you. Give me a couple more. All right, let's stay down at our lowest point. Check your form, knee underneath that hip. The lower you go, the harder it is. Hold it right here, little pulses for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and hold. Oh, I know you're not liking me at home, but you're gonna love me later for five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out, you feel that? I hope you do. All right, let's take that left leg back now. Square our hips. Let's get our form before we start our poses. Drop it down. Knee under our hip, right knee over that right ankle and wiggle those toes so you're not heavy. Sink it down. Pull your belly in, stack those shoulders. Full extension. So again, the class is compound strength. We are working our lower body, but we're also working those biceps. So we're taking full advantage of this 30 minutes that I have with you today. Filling those glutes, filling those quads, and then really activating those biceps. If you're not feeling challenged, I want you to pause the show right now. We need to go grab those heavier weights and then come back and meet me when you can. Let's give me five more. How are you feeling out there? Four. Three. Can we drop a little bit lower? Two. Stay down low. Shoulders back. Hold it here. Little tiny pulses down. Little pipe pulses with those biceps. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Let it burn. Three. Two and take it down, hold it here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Get that water, get that towel when you need it. Come back and meet me. We're gonna grab those light weights and we're gonna start with our feet wide. Back into that ballet term of called plie or second position. We're gonna start with a squat and punch. So if you are out there and you like that kickboxing move, this is great to develop those deltoid muscles on the top of your arms. I always call them your teardrop muscles. Turn the foot, squeeze. So you're in that wide squat, also known as a sumo squat. Make sure those knees don't buckle in. Make sure they're pulling out. Punch it out. Punch it out. Let's say you have elbow sensitivity. You don't have to lock those elbows out. You can keep a soft bend in those elbows. Protect those faces. Punch it out. For eight, seven, six, five, Four, we're gonna stay to one side after this. Three, get lower. Two, stay right here, hold it down, sink. Watch those knees, trace them, sink it down. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, switching sides, nice and careful, bring it over. Check your knees, tracing over those toes. Punch it, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and you got it. Shake it out. Great job at home today. We're going to start in that turned out position, heels together, toes turned out. We're going to go ahead and hinge from our hips. So there's a rope around our hips. Slightly comes back. Don't let your back arch to the ground. Pull your elbows in. Elbows are going to come to your side. Grab a little bit heavier weights if you have them at home. Maybe eight to 10 pounds. We're going to go into those tricep kickbacks. It looks like this. Out and back. So try to control the kickback. I want your elbows to come up to the ceiling when your pinkies come up to the ceiling. Belly in, shoulders, pull them back down and in. Exhale. Now look at your weights if you have that luxury of having a mirror at home. I want you to avoid the swinging of the weights. It's controlled out and 90. Exhale as you extend those arms to the ceiling. Don't worry, I promise I'll make this harder for you at home. It's not gonna be this easy. All right, you guys ready for that challenge? Tap it back. Back. Breathe. Make sure that left leg does not lock out. Modification, right leg stays still. Challenge, right leg starts to come up. Up. Oh, yes. Who's feeling their right glute and their tricep? For five. Four, breathe into it. Three. Two, we're gonna challenge. Straighten. Point, little lifts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Shake it out. Loving it? Yes. Heels together, first position. Hinge, shoulders roll back. Full extension right here. In and out. We've got to do the left side. I gotta keep you even. So remember, anytime if you want to modify, you're gonna go ahead and stay right here with your feet. 
You want to add that challenge? I know you do. Let's go ahead and add that tap. So it's in, tap, control, tap. Body is long, natural, neutral spine. Belly up. Come on. Shoulders, relax. Those triceps are starting to get toasty right now. Challenge. Go ahead and take that leg up. Bending or straight. You pick. Four. Three. Two. Stay at the top. Challenge. Point the leg. Straighten the arms. Modification. Both feet on the ground. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Oh, this feels so good. I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. Toes in front, heels behind. This is your opportunity to grab those lighter weights. We're gonna go back and do those deltoids. We're gonna keep our heart rate up though. We're gonna add those knee lifts. And like all these Frankenstein arms. Shoulders back and knees up. So I do not want you leaning back into your lumbar. I want your rib cage right over those hips. And I want your wrist just a little bit lower than your shoulders. Take those heels up. Pull the belly in. So every time your knees lift up, I want you to contract your abdominals. Pulling it in. Master breathing. Channel your yogi or your Pilates breathing right now. Give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. I want to walk it out now. No breaks on those deltoids. Clearly, you can take a break at home when you need to. Keep that form. Give me 8. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Grab that water. Grab that towel. We're taking it down to the ground. Yes, we are. Want to lay on our biceps. Our knees are going to go to 90 degrees. You can take that extra weight today, and if you want, just place it on your leg. So I don't want your legs back here. I want you that beautiful 90. Relax your shoulders. We're going to lift that leg up. So our shins are running parallel to each other. Little micro lifts. So we just changed the work. Breathe. Core tight. Don't let that top hip rock back or rock forward. I want them right on top of each other stacked. We call this clamshell. Hopefully you got a little bit of sweat on you. Exhale for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Oh yeah, extend it out. You know we like to do those zingers. Point that toe or flex that foot and micro little lifts. You should feel the outside of your glutes now. Wrap it around to that iliopsoas muscle and to the top of that quad. Don't forget about those abs though. I want you pulling them in every single time you exhale. Pull it in, pull it in. I know you're sweating at home. I know you're tired. Stay with me, don't give up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, you're gonna hold it here and you're just gonna do what we call a little micro kick. So you're gonna lead with that heel. You're really gonna feel that hamstring right into that glute engage. Oh, it burns, but it feels so good. Give me eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and shake it out. We are rinsing and repeating. We are switching sides. Lay on your bicep, 90 degrees. Option for that additional weight to give you a little extra challenge. Lift that leg up and micro little lifts. Breathe. I can just feel you smiling at home. You're so excited. You're so happy that you own and work with a gym that really is so invested in your health that they're making these awesome videos for you to work out, pushing you to that next level, feeling your body, challenging yourself every day, never giving up. Now freeze it right here. You know what we're gonna do. We're gonna extend that leg. Flex a point, you pick, and little lifts. Now you're gonna say, Stacey, it feels a little bit tighter on this side than it did the last side. This leg was actually supporting you and stabilizing you on the other side. So this side of the leg will fatigue just a little bit faster, and that's okay. Let's just push through it. Push it out. Micro bended stretch for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and lay on our backs. We're gonna take our weights overhead. We're gonna lift our glutes up. We're gonna go into the meaty part of our shoulder blades. And then we're gonna pull our belly in while lifting our hips up. Try to get your heels right underneath your knees. Relax your shoulder blades, hold that right here. We're gonna add a little scroll pressure, extend, chest press. So again, the class is called compound strength. 
We're using our glutes to hold this up. And then we're adding that extra bonus with the arms. Biceps, chest, triceps. Let's go. Modification. You let those hips sink down to the ground. Press your lower back into the ground and continue to do the arm movements. Absolutely okay. Give me five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Take those weights right over. Hold on. Challenge. Lift that left leg. Square those hips. Pull the belly in. Stomp it up. Flex. Pointed. You choose. Give me ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Slowly, carefully melt that foot down and right into the other side. No breaking today. I've got you for 30 minutes. Let's take an advantage. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Walk those feet down. Challenge up onto the balls of your feet. Hold it right here. Press your arms out and micro little presses. Core tight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully melt down. Carefully roll up. We're gonna work a little bit of our lower back right now. We're gonna go ahead and take our toes onto the mat and do the corners of the mat. We're gonna take our hands out wide. You can do light weights or no weights at all. You choose today. Forehead is gently gonna rest onto the mat. Shoulders roll back out of your ears. Press the top part of your hip bones into the ground and carefully lift up. Modification hands can gently come down and tickle the mat. Absolutely okay. Tuck your hip bones, pull your core up, squeeze your outside glutes, and relax those shoulders. Again, modification here, challenge here. We're gonna squeeze in, hold, and out. In, hold, and release it nice and slow. If you need that little extra break, you can come all the way down to the mat, take a little break. You want that extra challenge? Go ahead and stay up the entire time. So when our elbows come back, your arms are flaring to the ground, your shoulder blades are coming together, and you're gonna feel the middle of your back. Those are your lat muscles. And I love lat muscles. They are responsible for the wrapping around and slimming of your waist. Who doesn't want that? Lift, squeeze. Now remember, your glutes are actively working right now because you're tucking into the mat. And the reason we do this and why it's so important is to protect your lower back, your lumbar. Now we're gonna stay up at the top, hold this time, flare your arms, lift your toes, hold micro little squeezes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna take a nice little child pose here. Toes together, knees apart. Exhale, drive your armpits down a little bit. Start a posture on your lower back. Big inhale. Big exhale. We're gonna go ahead and lay on our mats. We're finishing up with abs today. Grab one of your weights, shoulders back. You're gonna take your elbows. You're gonna bring them right on top of those shoulders. You're gonna take it down. I call them Frankenstein arms. You're gonna roll up. You're gonna tap your toes up, tap down, and then you're gonna slowly, one vertebrae at a time, think of your Pilates roll, come all the way back down. Heavier weights. No weights. Slowly and carefully peel up. Pulling your belly in. Challenge. Sink your toes. Point your toes. And slowly, carefully, pull it all the way down. Let's pick it up. It's up. Lift. Tap. Keep it going. Don't stop. You've got this. Lift up. Roll. Tap. Drop. Slowly and carefully. Forehead. Lift. Tap. Give me one more. You got it in you. Slowly and carefully roll up. Stay up. This time we're gonna go right into that V set. We're gonna extend our legs, roll our shoulders back. Take our rib cage. We're gonna curl our rib cage in and pull our bellies in. Final 10. 10, 9, dropping 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three and hold it right here. Can you get up a little bit higher? Relax those shoulders a little bit more and just push it to that final push. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job today. Thank you so much for coming.